It was good. Okay. Was beautiful. How, how about um, those exercise goals and the nutritional goals and the sleep goals <laughs> and the mental health? How did we do this week on all of those? I stayed away from sugar. This is all the right. third week. Third week. Very good. Anyone else? Still working on the sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the, the, the sugar thing, I was talking to my dad on Friday, I think I left work. So in, and, and in my office, I always have snacks for if anyone wants to come in and, you know, they grab snacks. Of course, I get a lot of visitors that way because they're coming for the snacks, but they act like they're visiting, right? So um, I have those little trail mix, the little individual packages, and I have raw, which is for me. And then I have um, a trail mix that they call like a breakfast snack. So it has like granola in it and raisins and yogurt. It's supposed to be like something you have for breakfast. And I, that is for the other people. So Friday, I'm leaving work early and I ran out of the office and I ran to my, you know, like as I'm running to my car, I realized I'm hungry. And I wasn't, I was coming home, but I was going out to, you know, I was telling you guys, we do this um, volunteer thing where we go and we pick up the food and we take it to people um, that are homebound, but need the food. And I, so I now we get a chance to eat. So I said, you know what, let me just grab one of the trail mix. That's what it's there for. So I grabbed it, I rushed out, I'm in the car, and then as I'm driving, I open it and I start eating it, right? I kid you not, like within, I started eating it and I realized, uh-oh, I grabbed the wrong one, right? Because I taste, it was like sweet, like so sweet. And Charmaine, uh, you can tell, attest to this, like if you've not been having sugar, if you eat anything at all, it's like scratch your throat sweet. But it was just amazing to me how sweet the thing was. And I'm like, listen, I started eating them. And now, you know, like, you know, you, when you're hungry, and but you're not that starving, and then you start eating it and you really, really feel hungry. So now I'm like really dying. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to eat it. I ate it. And I kid you not, like within three minutes, I was going... <laughs> like the congestion and like it, and I knew and I was talking to my dad and I said you hear you hear that I said like my nostrils feel like they're clogged and he said you're getting sick I said no I believe this what is because I had sugar and I said to him more and more I'm convinced like if anybody at all that I were to talk to if I were to say there was only one thing in your diet that you could change one thing and only one thing, give up the sugar. It is so devastatingly bad for you. Um, if you do any sort of research on the effects of sugar on your body, when you read it, you don't want to eat the sugar. I mean, it's hard because especially this country we've been socialized into eating sugar. And when you start reading product labels and you realize that there's sugar in every single thing, it is so bad that, that there are things that you're like, there's no way this has sugar in it, there's sugar in it. It's in everything. So our taste buds have been cultured to want and crave and think we need sugar. So yes, the sugar fight is real, but it is one that is so, so worth it. So I know um, Shamika said she, not Shamika, um, Charmaine said she did without sugar. Nicole is working on it. What about everybody else? No sugar for me. Huh? Anybody else? Don't let me pick on you. Sophia, tell me what was your high point this week? My point? Ha Sophia, her high point. Oh. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Did I have a high point? <laughs> yeah. this, this week I walked with um, some of my girlfriends in Bridgeport. I thought that was very nice. Okay. Um, 
I realized that walking out in the cold is really hurting me. I had a broken wrist a few years ago. So I've lost um, a few nights of sleep because of the pain that I have in my shoulder and my wrist. I never came out yesterday and I realized I never had the problem. So I have to change, you know, like walking outside now to probably mm -hmm. getting into a building, the mall or somewhere to walk. Okay. But um, seeing my girlfriends in Bridgeport and walking with them was really nice. Okay, okay. I, can, I can give you something for that pain in your arm, darling. There you go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, All right. All right. All right. Thank you. Um, what about you? What was your low point? Sorry, that's me? Uh -huh. That's me? Oh, that pain, man, it was excruciating. Oh, sorry. It was too much. It woke up to my sleep on Sabbath morning. I slept in a glove on my right um, oh, hand my three nights in a row. And so, you know, I started picking up, like, probably, you know, I'm used to using the water very cold still. So things like those I have to be trying to change and be... Um, be cognizant about that it might be the cold acting me so badly in the, the arm because my left arm nowhere else is hurting just that right arm and then like the spirit brought it back to me that the doctors had warned me um the brokenness i could start feeling pain if i'm in cold weather so um, i chopped it up to all of that so uh i really have to start walking indoors or doing more of my exercise indoors all right, and Charmaine is gonna help you out with that. All right, Shamika, what All was right, your high you. point this week? Thanks for sharing, Sophia. You're welcome, anytime. Shamika? Yes. yes. Um, high point this week? I would say I'm just learning a little bit more about my body, which kinda, I don't know if that you guys are experiencing that as well. Um, just noticing that how I would crave things at certain times of the day mm -hmm. um, and kind of dealing with that. Um, so that's, that's a high point because I'm just trying to find, find an alternative mm -hmm. to, to, to what I'm craving. And um, low point is that the cold weather, I didn't walk as much as I would like to. Um, it kind of let that defeat me, but I did see some people walking around you know, in my neighborhood or whatever, but um, I didn't do my three mile um, walk that I would like to do. So if I get to pick it back up this week, just dress more in layers, I guess, to do it, yeah. All right, um, I'm gonna take one more. Nada, what was your high point this week? And I know you're driving, so if you can't uh, talk, let me know. All right, Anne-Marie, your high point this week? Well, I, I stayed away from sugar. Which, All right. Yeah, I haven't had sugar from I started. Uh, yeah. And uh, my low point, mm -hmm. I'm not exercising as much, but I'm still losing the weight. That's good, and it will come. Yes. That's good. We just don't want to get discouraged. So it, it will all come together. It, it, yeah. yeah. All right. So I, I um, hold on one quick second. I think somebody else was trying to get in. Hi, Eva. Were you trying to get on? I'll send you the link now. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Let me just send her. Yeah, so we just want to make sure um, what we're doing, we just keep at it. Because sometimes when we're doing things, especially something good, the devil tries to, you know, do stuff to throw in our way and tell us that, oh, you can't do it and whatever. And we just want to make sure um, he doesn't succeed at that, right? And, and like Shimika is saying, as we're, you know, as we're going about our daily business and as we're doing this, we find out more things about your body. And that is very, very crucial because as you find out things, um, now you know what your triggers are. So now you can avoid them. You know, like ahead of time, 
if I get stressed, I tend to reach for the sugar. So now if you're in a stressful situation, you anticipate that you're going to crave the sugar. So you take steps to minim, uh, mitigate that. So you avoid, you, you, you make sure there's sugar around you, or you say, you know what, I'm going to reach for some carrot sticks instead, which gives you a little bit of my sugar. Um, or I'm going to have a fruit instead. Um, but you try to find alternatives, right? To, to whatever it is as you get to, to know yourself. Yeah, one thing I did was, um, mm -hmm. it sounds silly, but I took like pineapple juice mm -hmm. and I had like a bunch of ice and got it really cold so I could just have that. And it lasts longer because it's not just, I like, just gulp the pineapple juice quickly. Mm -hmm. Since because it's frozen, I'll drink it a lot slower and then it's more satisfying. And then I'm like, okay, I'm done. I got that little, like fix out the way kind of thing. Beautiful. Yeah. That's nice. That's, nice. that's really good. And thanks for sharing that. So that, that's what we do. And that's what we're here for, to encourage each other and to give each other tips and, and advice and stuff, right? Um, okay, so before I move on, I don't want, is, is there anybody who wanted to share? I wanted to say something. Um, mm -hmm. From the time, remember sister, what's her name? Dr. Karen, is mm -hmm. it Karen? Mm -hmm. We did that program with her. Mm -hmm. I never change, I never change. I just, I just continue. I never stop. Very good. And I feel, I feel very good. Uh -huh. So I went to my doctor for a physical last year and she said, um, you came here year before and you lose weight. And last year and, and this year you lose weight. Now I'm going to her on Friday. Yeah. Friday is my physical for the year. And I know she's going to tell me, you lose maybe two pounds, two more pounds for the year. I said, that's good because <laughs> I don't want to get skinny, but... Yeah, you can, feel, you can feel the difference. Yes, you understand. And I keep yes. doing everything. I'm doing more. You understand? I exercise more. If I don't go to the gym and do my Zumba for me mm -hmm. to sweat, mm -hmm. I stay home and do my sit-ups. I mm -hmm. use my weights. I have that trampoline. You remember that trampoline you told us to buy? Yes, yes, yes. I yes. jump on there. I continue doing my thing. Mm -hmm. I feel great. That's good. I That's feel wonderful. strong. I feel healthy. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that 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 trampoline makes a difference, right? Yeah. It does make a difference. And if you feel congested or yeah. you feel like there's a lot of inflammation, uh -huh. I bet you go on that. And uh, you know, and you can come back to me and tell me it didn't work. And I guarantee you, you can come back and tell me it didn't work. Right. You go right. and jump on that thing for 15 minutes. You yes. had a car tissue with you. I, I think I go for more than 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying, even if you do just 15 minutes, you yes. better have tissue with you because everything starts uh, raining. Yes. Any congestion you have in your in, in yes. up here is yeah. coming down mm -hmm. just from you on that trampoline. And yes. if you don't believe me, the next time you feel congested or whatever, just go jump on that thing and then just come back and jump on it. You right. need tissue. Right, Charmaine? Yes. It, yes. it drains. It's great. You. Perfect. So it, it, it drains your lymphatic system. Uh -huh. That's mm -hmm. what it does. So it's yeah. a really, really excellent thing to do. And the mm -hmm. rebounder at the time when we bought it, Charmaine, you know, when I sent you guys a link, it was probably like $25 on Amazon. Yes. It's way more now. Oh. Because as people discover the benefits of things, the demand grows and then the price goes up. But you can, trust me, it's worth it. It's worth it. Mine is still there. I still bought mine three and a half years ago. Yes. I'm still using it. It still is in good condition. And it, it, it drains your lymphatic system. It drains and it also strengthens your core. It strengthens your legs. It's really yes. good. And it gives you that cardio. So it's really good. Yes. All right. So... <laughs> I'm really excited today because I had my shower with my homemade shower gel. <laughs> and then I used my just butter and from um, Shireen. Mm -hmm. And I used my lip gloss mm -hmm. from, um, oh God, of course, she's gonna kill me. Uh, Deanna's daughter, Kimoro. Right, oh, she makes her oh, own lip gloss and I use it. And I feel light and fresh and like, oh, and I use my deodorant, homemade deodorant. Ah! <laughs> Did you make that? What you put in it? 
that's what we're gonna do today. Okay. Okay. So this is so I'm 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 le like really excited. I'm really pumped up about this because a lot of times when I, I feel like when I talk to people about health and whatever, people talk say yeah 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 yeah, and they don't always you know well do it. But this is something you can do, and you're gonna love it so much that you're gonna keep doing it. Because when I was done with my shower, I felt like I didn't need to put on anything. My skin anything. was so soft and nice, and whatever. And I want you guys to do it, and then you're gonna tell me if your experience is the same. Everyone excited and ready to go? Yes. All right. So if you have your you should have all got your package. Well, those people who wanted to get their package, you should have got your package. Um, so take it off, take it out. If you don't have your package, it's okay. Just take notes. And when package you're ready- of what? Package of what? What is that? This is all the products you need to make the stuff that I'm going to do. Okay, okay. I didn't know. Yeah, oh, it was on the chat, but oh. I, I should have, I, I guess, guess next time I'll text you individually. But if you don't yeah. have the- the package, let's take good notes, and then we're going to, um, and then you can do it on your own, right? So what do you guys want to start with? The body wash or the deodorant? I think body wash, because you have to bathe before you put on the deodorant, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Mrs. Sargent is here, so she's going to be in person. She's going to be doing it with me, right? Right. Okay. So here's um, some... And I just want to do that. I'm going to have some paper towel here. You guys can see me and hear me clearly still? Yes, yes. Okay, wonderful. Okay. All right, so Mrs. Sargent is going to open up her box. Open up my, another box, and so now I have two, but that's okay. And the beauty, um, I'm doing it in like, you're going to do like a, a bottle like this size because it's natural products. There are very few, um, there's not really any real preservative in it. You don't want to make too much into it and have it sitting there because you don't want it to lose its potency and you don't want it to go bad, right? But right. this eight ounce bottle is good enough. It's going to last you probably a couple of weeks or so, depending on how often you shower, right? Mm -hmm. Some people shower once a day, some people shower twice a day. So it depends on how often you shower. And some people want to shower and then they shower again and they shower, they soak up themselves like two, three times, right? But in the winter time, if you're the type of person who likes to, you know, shower several times or whatever, don't do that. You, you don't want to dry your skin out. So if you have your package, I see Shamika turned on her camera. Very good. Um, Sophia is driving, so she can't turn hers on. Harold, you can turn your camera on if you have your package. Maya. Um, so if you have your package and you want to just make this all interesting and entertaining, just turn your cameras on so we can all see what you're doing. Um, and like I said, if you don't have your stuff, you can get them at a later date. Just um, take the, the take, make a list of the, what we're using and then you'll do your own thing. So if you open up your package, let me bring this over with me. Everything should be labeled. All right, so this is the bottle that we're going to put everything in when you're done. And I put a, a sticker on it. And I want, on that sticker, I want you to become creative and make your own label because this is your body wash, right? So you can write whatever you want on there. Just get a permanent marker, I'll get your permanent marker. And you can write whatever you want on it, make your little drawings, do whatever. Just make it your own body wash, right? You see mine? Fancy, right? Mm -hmm. So you can put this, you, you're gonna put it in your bathroom, right? And that's your own body wash. All right, so let me get this out of the way. So we have our bottle and that's what we're gonna put in. Let me get to a bowl here. There you go. And I'm actually giving her a real bowl that I would eat from in the kitchen. Because remember, 
whatever we're using is stuff that we could eat if we wanted to. And that's the beauty of this, right? Okay, so I don't have to worry that, oh yeah, she took my bowl and I'm gonna throw it in the garbage. Oh, I should have brought one for myself, right? That would make sense. Okay. All right, so we have the flour. We're going to take our Castile soap. So it's going to say Castile soap. And this is Castile soap is actually made, it's still all um, natural. It's made from 100% vegetable oil. This is the only thing that I would tell you don't drink it, right? And not because it's all vegetable oil, but the process that could made it, which basically they just put lime the water in the vegetable oil, it floats to the top and they and cause it to um the ions interact with each other, and that's why you get the suds, right? But it really is vegetable oil. So all natural stuff, no additives, nothing else, 100 percent pure pesto. So, uh, okay. How much? How much of this? Um, so this we're gonna use all of this. So four ounces if you're four taking ounces. notes. Okay. If you're taking okay. notes, you can use four ounces to still go. I'm gonna put that in there. Okay. You said four ounces? Four ounces. Okay. So write your notes down because when this is finished, you're yeah. gonna to wanna to make it again, right? And right. I tell you, you're gonna love it so much, you're gonna make it again. So it's more get this. Get this? The, the Castile soap, you can get any like any of the health food stores. Um again, these are all natural ingredients, but not all natural ingredients are created equal. So I'm gonna ask you, please, when you're buying stuff, don't look necessarily for the cheapest things because there's a reason it's that cheap. If, it, if it's too cheap, then it then that means okay, hold on. Then that means it probably is okay. So. Okay, so with the Castile soap, you're gonna have all, but make sure you read the ingredients and it should say 100% Castile soap, nothing added to it, okay? And I like, um, Dr. Bronner's, it's like very, um, it's a very popular brand because it is oh, yeah. certified to be 100% pure. So if you're gonna get it, I would recommend, and again, this is a recommendation, doesn't mean you have to, because Arlene said so, but I would recommend, I would what highly- that is, What that is made of? Vegetable oil. What do you have in your hand? Vegetable <laughs> oil. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, so it's a, so that's the um, Castile soap. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna use coconut oil, ah, but it's two ounces coconut oil. Make two sure ounces. it's pure coconut oil, right? Now, coconut oil, as you guys know, if it's a real deal, I'm not talking about the one that you go in Stop and Shop and buy for five dollars about um for the gallon. Do not put that in your body wash and try to use that to shower, right? <laughs> Um, we're talking about the real coconut oil that when you go to Trader Joe's or Whole Foods or so on to get it, it yeah. looks like a solid, right? Yeah, right, right. So make sure it's raw, real coconut oil. So you're going to use two ounces of that. Um, this one is what they call, um, and I'm going to massacre the word, but it's um, fractionized or fragmented. Um, fragmented something of the sort of coconut oil. And what they did was they just took out one of the amino acid out of it so that it remains in liquid form, but it's just as good. And it's, it's usually a little bit more expensive than if you buy the regular raw coconut oil because they have to do that other stuff. If you want to get just the regular one, you can get it, then you just stick it over the heat or in your microwave and melt it. 
for the mm -hmm. purposes of this class, I'm not going to have everybody go to them. Hi, Arlene, I have a question for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have so a question that's two for ounces coconut oil. Okay. okay. Arlene, I have a question. Yes, Carol, go ahead. I'm sorry. So in the kit that you gave, everything was pre-measured, right? To the exact... Uh, yes, it's pre-measured. So you're using everything. Okay. Yes. And then raw mm -hmm. honey, two ounces raw honey. And notice I said raw. It's raw, unfiltered honey. Mm -hmm. If you get it and you hold the bottle up and it's running out, that's not raw honey. Okay? So make sure it says raw and make sure it says unfiltered. And honey is really good because it's a moisturizer and it's also antibacterial and it's a cleanser. If you get a cut, you can actually put raw honey on it, but make sure it's raw unfiltered honey. You see how many times I'm saying that? This is very important. Okay, so you're gonna put all of that honey in there. See how thick that is? Look at that. Yes. And like I said, the beauty about this is that everything is edible. So if I'm doing this and the honey gets on my finger, I can go. And it's okay. I'm not going to drop it. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then we need a tablespoon of vitamin E. And all vitamin E are not created equal. Like even if, um, I don't want to move my camera, but if you if you look here, maybe I can show you here. If you look here, like, can, uh, can you see that? Can you guys see that? No. Okay, I'll show you another time. But I have all sorts of oils, right? And even, <laughs> Mrs. Sargent said like a store. But some of the oils, even though they're vitamin E, they have different I uh, units of vitamin E. Let me see if I have two different ones. Or the other one. I don't know. But, oh, this, this has 13,000 units. Then you may have one that has 10,000, and you may have one that has. So you have different vitamin E, but just get a good vitamin E. Now, what does the, the vitamin E do? It's good for your skin, and it also acts as a preservative, right? So that's my vitamin E as well. Okay. And then if you look in your box, like Carol and Sophia, I think your box was kind of different. You had them in a, in a different bottle, but then I realized it wasn't working, so I got the little dropper bottles instead. No, that you're not using that yet. So Her um, Harold and Sophia, I'll get these to you. Okay. Um, Eileen. Yes. How much vitamin E you said that was? A tablespoon. And, and what did you say that I was missing from my kit? Well, you're not missing anything. I'm just saying I put your essential oils in a tiny jar, but I realized it wasn't very efficient. So I switched it to like little dropper bottles. So you don't have that dropper bottle, but I'll get it to you. Okay. But it's the same thing. Got it. All right. So now we're going to put some lavender oil in there. You see, you see the one that says lavender oil? No, I'm just having a few drops of it. So you can put like five drops or so of the lavender oil or, you know, 10 drops, just put some drops so you get your lavender oil. Put it in there. You should have one that says eucalyptus oil. 
Mm, right? So we're going to put 15 drops of that in there. So just get your dropper, put in your 15 drops. Fifteen drops of what again? Eucalyptus oil. And if you put twenty drops in there, nothing's going to happen. If you put thirty drops, nothing is going to happen. But put at least ten drops. Okay. And and the eucalyptus smells really good. I like. It. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. <laughs> And then you have the sweet orange. Where is it? Sweet orange. Put 10 drops of that in there. Oh, there we go. No, I can't get it. Arlene. Huh? Arlene, I'm not getting what you're saying. I'm not, I I I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, where did I lose you? You lose me in the beginning because it was hard for me to get on and my phone keeps going out. It doesn't, it shows you. Um, but then I have this phone symbol that I have to keep pressing for you to come back on. Oh, okay. Oh, awful. Uh, um, it's just are, awful. Are you sitting somewhere where you can do what I'm saying? Um, I'm sitting at my dining room table. Okay, so you opened your box. Do you have like a bowl? You, can't, you, you don't see me? Oh, there I am. Okay. Okay. All right, so good evil. Do you have a bowl to put everything in? Put a Get a bowl and put everything in? All this Castile oil and all this- Oh, no, don't. Stuff. No, I'm just saying get a bowl now. We're gonna <laughs> get a bowl oh, okay. now. Yes. Okay. Hey, Arlene. Yes, Carol. The sweet orange becomes very coagulated. It like, gets very what? Co coagulated. Sweet orange. The sweet orange. It's not like a liquid or anything like that. It's coagulated. Yeah, you probably had it where it was cold. Okay. I got but the bowl. Harold, oh, okay, so Harold, you can skip it and, and you, um, just use another drop in its place because you have the lemon oil, oil anyway. So what, what do I do with the Castile oil? Do I pour it in the bowl? Yes. All of it? Yes. Okay. And you're going to pour and all of the raw honey in it? Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and you're all gonna, of the all of the coconut oil. All the coconut oil. Okay. And all of the vitamin E. Oh, I want to what about the lemon? No, not lemon. Just the vitamin E. I'm sorry. Okay. 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 Yes. Because that's what you said, so to put all of it. Yeah, all of what she had. Okay, so your container had one case. Okay. All of them. No, 10 drops of this one. So 10 drops of the sweet orange oil. So Eva, you're with us now? You caught up? So the sweet orange oil? Yeah, I put everything in there. Yes. Not the not the lemon juice, right? No, the lemon juice is right here. Okay, yeah, don't pour that in there. <laughs> okay. All right. Now look for the tiny bottles and get the one that says eucalyptus. Okay, I have it. Put 15 drops of that in there. 15 drops? Yes. It's a dropper. Just fill it up and put 15 drops. If you go over 15, it's fine. Okay. And then um, 10 drops of the sweet orange. Did I put in my seat on 30? Yes, I did. The orange? Yeah, the sweet orange. Put 10 drops orange. of that. The lemon oil, put 10 drops of that. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute.
sweet orange. Okay. Uh. <coughs> And then um, the tea tree oil, you can put some of that in there as well, because tea tree is a, it, it's, it's antibiotic, right? So like me, when I used to buy body wash, I always bought the antibacterial body wash. Um, mm -hmm. So if you if you really like antibacterial stuff, the honey is antibacterial. So you're getting that. If you want, you can also add tea tree oil to that. Okay. I'm going to do the lemon oil. Oh, shit. Well, you can put just, um, some drops of that. Like, you can do 10, 15 drops of the tea tree oil. Actually, this is just amazing how we have to compromise to do all this stuff. It's just crazy to me. <laughs> what happened? I said, you know, we have to just compromise. We're living in a different day and time, and it's just, like, so crazy to me. Mm hmm Okay. Okay, I put some lemon drops. Huh? You can put the um, you can put the ten, fifteen drops, twenty drops because it it depends on how strong you want it. Because like I said, it's antibacterial. So if you right. want that in there, you just add it. If you don't, you don't have to because already the honey gives you some antibacterial protection. And then you just gently mix that up. You don't want to mix it too hard because if you mix it too hard, what's going to happen? You're going to start creating suds, which you don't really want. So the, okay, let me get a let me get a spoon. Right. The big thing is just to get that honey um, all mixed in with it, and then you're going to have this nice consistency where it's not really thick, but it's not too watery either. Right. Okay, so just mix it in. Okay. So you have like a nice yellow color. So now the thing is, because it's your body wash, if you have essential oils and you like the smell of them, say suppose you like eucalyptus, you can put some more eucalyptus in it. If you like um, the smell of like apricots or almonds or you have like rose oil and you like that smell, you can add it to it. So that's the beauty, the essential oils, you can now customize it and add whatever else oils you want to get the fragrance that you like, okay? Now, like let me said, ask you something, Arlene. Let me ask you something. What if I want to sit in the tub and like um, turn my jets on? Do I, can I take this and pour it in the water and let the, um, Yes, you, yes, you can do that. Because it's okay, gentle exactly. enough, you can soak in it. It's gentle enough for that. Okay, okay. so I'm going to pour everybody in, I'm going to pour everything in this, in this bottle. Yes. In the big bottle. I'm going to pour everything in the big bottle. Yes. So what I was saying is with the essential oils, please, guys, please be careful. You have some essential oils that people buy and the way it's processed, it, 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 it's almost like it's harmful. So make sure when you get it, it's an actual, one of the good way to tell is it should be an oil, like an actual oil. So if it catches on your hand, it should feel like an oil. Sometimes you buy these essential oils and it's almost alcohol. It's like, um, like kind of harsh because of the way it's manufactured, okay? So you wanna be really, really careful that it, you're getting it from a reputable source and it's the real good oil. Like I said, if you're gonna get uh, uh, an, an ounce of essential oils and it's for $4, you probably don't wanna buy it, okay? Not if you're gonna be putting it on your skin. Arlene, I stepped out of the room for a quick second. Do we do anything with the lemon juice? Hold on. Hi, Alison. Hi, Eva. How are you, girl? I'm good. How are you? Good. We'll talk later. Okay. Sorry, I missed your question. 
again, I was going to have some Yeah, my question was, um, is there anything that I need to do with the lemon juice yet? Not yet. I have to get out of the room. Not yet. Okay. All right. You didn't miss anything. <laughs> okay. So now you just have, I just went in by the funnel. If you have a funnel, if not, then you're gonna have to be very careful. You can probably use a measuring cup for it in and then just put everything in your bottle. Open up your bottle and pour it in there. <laughs> She's excited. She said, Go, Joyce. Lynn. <laughs> and, and see, this is this is the one that I've been using. So when you're ready to use it, you can just shake it a little because it may settle um, a little, like start separating because you have all these oils in it. But it's fine. You just separate, you just shake it up and you're good to go. All right. Guess what? You're not going to say what? What? I what? said. You just made body wash. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Simple, right? Yeah. I like Perfect. It. Perfect. And then you wonder, wow. okay, so what's the big deal with body wash? But then when you go to the store, and you're going to buy a body wash, it's going to be way cheaper because they're not using raw honey in it. They're not using um, real coconut oil. They're not using vegetable oils. They're mm -hmm. using all of these cheaper products to mass produce it. They're going to yeah. put it on the shelf for months at a time. So they have to make sure put all these chemicals in it. Not, not, not only cheaper products, it's not even good for your, for your body. Not, and, and like I told you guys last week, what yeah. goes on your skin gets mm. inside your body. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. You're eating healthily, but then you still have cancers and, and allergies and all sorts of stuff going on because of this. But this, and it's really, really good. Trust me. I want you to use it this evening tomorrow and then let me know. And you have your um your label, write your name on it. Write your come up with a a, a, a name. Hands name Yes. If you want to do, say, two body wash, one for you, one for your husband, and you want to make sure it's more rose and more like natural blood, you know, to to eat. you change the, 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 the fragrance the way you like. Okay? So let me pour mine out. And I'm going to add probably like some sandalwood oil or something to Ooh. it. What are you guys trying to eat? Give it to the boy. Okay, and that's the body wash. The body wash. The body wash. Hey. Yeah. Voila. Then, Every time you make something new, you say voila. <laughs> I love it. Every time I do something, I say voila. Any questions, anybody? Any questions? So, um, um, is it um, the only thing is, I don't remember if you answered the question for the lemon juice that hasn't been yes. used yet. You said not yet, right? I didn't hear it. Go you ahead, said, Harold. What's the question? I don't remember what you answered about the lemon juice. Did you use yet? That's all. Yeah, no, we're not going to use it yet. But with the Mrs. The sergeant was asking, would we be able to purchase these products like at one place? You should be able to. Um, say, for instance, if you go to Whole Foods, I know you can get the Dr. Bronner's. That's where I got the Dr. Bronner's, um, uh, the Castile soap, the pure Castile soap. That's, you can get the olive oil there. I mean, not, I'm sorry, not the coconut oil. You can get the raw honey. Um, I bought the raw honey at Costco. Well, Shamika bought it at Costco for me because I get the bottle. It's the raw unfiltered honey and I get the, I think it's like a two or three pound bottle for $8.99 is going to be more expensive anywhere else you go. Um, and then the oils, most beauty supplies, not beauty supplies, health food stores, or again at Whole Foods, the other day I sent you guys the link, um, a picture 
in Whole Foods, they had like a lot of the essential oils on sale. Mm -hmm. And even though they were on sale, they were like maybe, I think they were like $7.99 on sale, which was the sale price for them, but they were like good. And they were the real essential oils, right? Okay. Excited? Excited. Yes. All right. And then we're going to make, after you take your shower, you want to put on deodorant. And the deodorant is real simple. You are not going to believe this. This is real simple. Charmaine is already familiar with this because she got it from the medical The lemon juice? Training, right? So um, I can just start to put my body um, <laughs> I didn't take anything. <laughs> So you're going to use, and I'm going to give you like in, in a small batch, the amount for a small batch. And so you can, because again, it's just in this bottle and you can just keep making fresh um, batches, right? One ounce lemon juice. Okay, so this is like the um, store-bought lemon juice. Is that freshly squeezed, okay. right? So that's fine. I use the store-bought one because it's pasteurized. Right, okay, but if you good. buy the store bought one, make sure it is a hundred percent lemon juice, lemon juice, nothing else. Why, I mean, why don't Why don't you squeeze your own lemon juice? You can squeeze your own lemon, but uh -huh. sometimes when I squeeze my own lemon, it's kind of it's it's harsh. That's one. I and know, but I squeeze my own lemon. So. Yes, yes, you can. I'm not saying you can't. Um, Shimiko was just asking why. So right. you can squeeze your own lemon, but just know that it may be a little bit more harsh one. I know, so I know. You're really gonna it. have to make sure you put preservative in it. So you can put vitamin E oil right. in it to preserve it, or yeah. else it's going to go bad on you. Right. Yeah, that's, what I, that's what I do. Yeah. You can use your uh, store bought lemon yeah. itself, yeah. but make sure you add vitamin E oil to it so it doesn't go bad, okay? Right, that's right. All right. So this one is not fresh squeezed. So um, we're not gonna put any vitamin E oil in it. Mm. And this one this should be hot. this should be a nice body wash to take a bath in, you know. I'm sorry. Turn the jet. I said it should really be a nice body wash to like turn my jets on and sit in the tub and pour some in there and just soak. Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, we can actually customize that to make it more of a bubble bath Eva. the body how do you do that uh, uh, well i'll give that to you later but let's go through okay. the body the, the That's another topic. all right so we're gonna get um one ounce of lemon juice this is probably a little bit more than one ounce but that's okay so just get your lemon juice and we're definitely going to put tea tree oil in this. And we're going to put tea tree oil in it because one, it's a sort of preservative. So it does have this. preservative right down from it. So it does give you some preservative properties. And like I said before, it's antibacterial and right. we're dealing with sweat, right? So we want Do I use this for it? So you can put like 10 drops of the tea tree oil in it. Again, you can put more than that if you want to. Mm -hmm. I love tea and tree this is, And this is for underarm deodorant? Underarm deodorant. Um, remember last Okay, I put tea tree, tea tree oil, lemon juice. So you're putting your tea tree oil in it. Okay. And, and lemon juice and lemon juice. In the lemon juice. Uh, quick question for how long this does it last? Huh? <laughs> how what many times that? are you applying? Huh? How how often? How often would you apply it? Like how long does this last? What the deodorant? Yeah. You shower, you put it on, and that's it. You go to work, you come what? back, you smell nice. You still smell nice. <laughs> what? <laughs> You don't have to keep oh, reapplying. No. <laughs> well, I do that all the time. Really? I shower, I use it. You know, I come home, I shower, I use it. But just okay, once, well, I could, that's I, it. Okay, so we we'll put our <laughs> tea tree oil in it. We're going to take our um, lavender oil and we're going to put about five drops of that in there. 
Scared. Get up what? I jumped up the ladder. Get up what? No, I'm just wondering how long it lasts. I'm, so try it. Try it. I know, I know. I'm gonna try it. Five drops of the lemon oil. Five she not believing this. Listen, listen to I'm the not saying I'm not believing. I'm just listen. saying lemon juice. I'm like, okay. What? And so we put in, we put in about five, ten drops of the tea tree oil. Tea tree five oil. That's the lemon oil. oil. Tea five tree oil. Five drops of lemon. Mm -hmm. Lemon oil, five drops of lavender. Right. And I personally, I like the smell of the eucalyptus oil, so I'm going to put some of that in there as well. I, I put that in there also. Yes. Okay. All right. Mm. I love the eucalyptus. Yep. So if you like the eucalyptus, you can put it under there. You can put some of that in there. Yeah. And in your package, you may have got a dropper. You can just use that to stir it all up. And I'm just going to put it in my bottle. Janika. Yes. You you seem skeptical. No, I, I'm just, I'm just asking because I'm just thinking it's just lemon juice. Because oil. I can see you, I can see you <laughs> trying to work on that, and your face is like, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> believe you me. I'm just trying works. to get the set on the deodorant, and make sure. <laughs> okay, it smells like <laughs> lavender. <laughs> if you're doubtful, if you're doubtful, try yeah. it at home first. Yes. Okay. Try that yeah, home. Put it on like a Sunday morning or a Sabbath when you're going to be at home all day. And try it there first if you're doubtful. But all I'm doing is I'm just taking my lemon juice, um, my deodorant, and putting it in the bottle, right? Squeezing it in the bottle. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you should have got a dropper in your. Um... So what does the, the lemon juice, like how does it, it just kills the odor causing bacteria? Yes. Yeah. So you're still perspiring and everything, but you just and the not have odor. Right. It, and right. you won't perspire as much either because you don't okay. have odor. Yes. And then Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to put the roll on onto, onto the bottle, but it's not <laughs> Yeah, just sticky. just push it down hard. That's it. See, I just okay, I got it. On. Okay, I got it. Let's okay. tap it on. And voila, you voila. have voila. 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 Check, check, voila. check, 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 and put that on. I'm excited. Voila, I'm excited. I got it. Shake it, Chamika. Shake it, yeah. shake it. Every time you I am shaking. Every time you are ready to put it on, you shake it and put it on. Okay, mama. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. Is that your mother, Arlene? Yeah. I got it. I'll, I'll get it to you later. Go ahead and put it in. Any okay. questions, anybody? Yeah, no, my God. I'm going to take, nice, take a nice hot bath tonight, turn my jets on. And pour Yay. the stuff in here and soak. That's right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, so is this, is, this is the one that I've been using. Mm -hmm. See, I actually had my kids make it, and I said, that's the real test. Because my kids will shower. They're boys, teenagers, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about. They'll shower. Clean yeah. yeah. the urine. And within two hours, they come near me, and I'm like, little boy, you're killing me. <laughs> yes, can you? Yeah. <laughs> so this is the real test, because if they use this, mm -hmm. and I stay alive, <laughs> you know it works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Any questions, anybody? No, oh, this is good. Nope. Good. I'm just going to try it and see. Yeah. Try it. I'm Next week, Sunday, when we talk, I want to hear all the stories. 
Um, yeah. I would love if next week our high point is going to be, oh, I used the wash and my skin feels like heaven. And mm -hmm. I, have, I told you, when I got out of the shower, I didn't feel like I needed to use um, any uh, um, lotion. The good thing about it is when I shower at night, I don't put on deodorant. I don't put on lotions. That's a chance for my skin to breathe. That's just my yeah. personal yeah. preference. I yeah. just get out the shower and I get, and I don't put anything at all on my skin. Mm -hmm. The other thing is also when you're, when I shower, um, and you guys know, I love to tell stories. So when I was married, my ex-husband had dry skin and I kept telling him, stop mm -hmm. using a towel. If you guys know me, you'll never come to my house and see me with a bath towel in my bathroom that I use. I, other people can use it. I don't use it. Mm -hmm. I use a washcloth. I shower and I use tepid water. Nobody wants to shower with me because they say the water is too cold. And then when I'm done, I use the same washcloth and pat dry my skin. Mm. Mm. And that's it. I don't use a towel. I don't scrub it to dry. I just pet dry it and I come out of the shower. And my ex Okay, well, Arlene, when you, when you do that, how are you supposed to totally dry your body off if you just do that? Because the body is still moist. So uh, what do you do? Right. That's the point. You want your body to be moist. Okay. So if you leave it like that or then you apply your lotion on top of that, that's moisture that's left on your skin and now you're applying it instead of drying it and then you're using the lotion to moisturize. So you use lotion at you... night? Huh? You, lose, you use your lotion at night? No, no. Oh. I'm saying when you just normally shower, if you get out and you use your, your washcloth, your towel to dry your mm -hmm. skin, you're just removing all that moisture from your skin. And by okay. rubbing it, you're also removing all the oils, the natural oils from your skin. Mm -hmm. So leave it moist, leave it moist. Leave it moist. And if you're going out in the day and you want to put your lotion on top of that, that's fine. At nights, like I said, I don't put anything on my skin. Okay, right. I just leave it as is. If your body breathes. If you have dry skin, Mrs. Huh? Sargent is asking, what if you have dry skin? Still works. Because as a story I was telling you, when my ex-husband went to the dermatologist and he goes, I have terribly dry skin, what do I do? The first thing that the dermatologist said to him, stop using a towel. Hmm. And he goes, when you get out of the shower, do not use hot water. When you get out of the shower, pat dry your skin. And I'm looking at him like, I said, okay, I told you this, but now you paid someone $150 for them to tell you the exact same thing. Exactly. And so he turned okay, to now the dermatologist and he said, I don't even know why I came to you because my wife is an encyclopedia. She knows everything. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm going to ask you, do you shower really hot water or moist water, water or cool water? Cool water. You shower? I shower in what cool kind? water. Cool Oof. water? Uh-huh. Okay. I shower okay. almost every day with hot and cold, hot, five minutes hot, three minutes cold, five minutes hot, three minutes cold. Yeah, you, you can do that, <laughs> yeah. um, especially yes, it really a coffee. lot of congestion and inflammation. Um, in the winter time, everybody says, oh, I can understand you use cold water in the winter, in the summer, but what about winter? I said, even better, because I go in the bathroom, if it's really cold, I may turn on the hot water so that the, the, the bathroom warms up a little bit. I get in and I make sure I turn that water back down and it's actually like lukewarm and then I finish with cold water. Right. When I'm okay. washing my hair, I do the same thing. I yeah, they say that for your hair. Warm water, yeah. and I finish yeah. with cold, cold water. Yeah. And yeah. then, and that's it. And so, if you have dry skin for Mrs. Sargent, <laughs> because it's very, very moisturizing. And like I said, don't scrub with a towel when you're done. When you're done, use the same washcloth that you just used, pat dry your skin. And that's it. And then, you know, you can use olive oil or if you want to get like a just butter, you, you um, like I said, I use my just butter on top of it. Feels really, really good. Um, and again, this is my um, 
what do you call this lip gloss <laughs> from Kimora because I like supporting local I like supporting our own and I like the fact that people are using natural products what are you drinking Charmaine oh I'm drinking my apple juice I just made darling okay okay I just <laughs> made it I don't drink juice from the store I'm sorry <laughs> okay <laughs> and my vegetable juice this is celery for the week all right okay. hi Diana I'm just I'm saying hi to my niece um, oh. any other questions um, <laughs> Mr. Sargent said what are we going to make next time it's a surprise <laughs> I have a question yes <laughs> Does the um does the body wash lather? Yes. Yes. It's not going to lather a tremendous, it's not gonna lather, lather what it lathers. Yes. Because there's a body wash that I make, which I don't put Castile soap in it and it doesn't lather. And even though I know it's still cleaning my skin, I like the, I miss the lather. So that's why I add the Castile soap to it because I like. I, I don't know. It feels like you're not really showering. <laughs> it's not yeah. But it, it's good, natural, or no chemical stuff, so it's still good. Uh, as far as storage mm -hmm. and how long the shelf life for this, we should use this within a week, right? Or a couple? Not within a, it's going to last you till it's done. It's not going to go bad. It's not going to go bad, and I don't need to keep it in the fridge because some things. I don't need it. to keep it in the refrigerator. Okay. No. Okay. All right. Oh, Arlene? Yes. Yes. At the summary, the ingredients or most of the ingredients that were used in the body wash are pretty much the, the one that are used in the deodorant, except at a smaller quantity. Is that what it is? Smaller the quantity. oils? You're talking about the oils? Yes. Yeah, I think we use the um, fewer oils in the, in the deodorant than we did in the body wash. But you can use, they're interchangeable. And again, remember, most of the essential oils, some of them were using it for their fragrance, or for their fragrance. some of them were using it for their health benefits. So it, it's interchangeable. Like some of those oils, I just put them in on my scalp, especially the tea tree oil. I put that in everything. If I'm putting it on my face, I put it on my face, I put it on my scalp, I it, everything. I use that tea tree oil with, everything because it's really remember really don't put it on broken skin huh if your skin is broken don't put it on there no and some of these oils you you use what we call a carrier oil so it is so strong you don't want to use it by itself so you use a carrier oil so like the tea free oil if i'm using the um the black sure. seed oil so I'm using the black seed oil and then I put some tea tree oil in it. So there's all, if I'm putting it on my face, I have the oregano oil, then I put, and then my carrier is um, olive oil. So I use the extra virgin olive oil as my carrier. I add some oregano oil to that. I add the tea tree oil and that's what I put on my face. Perfect. Any questions? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Arlene. Yes. Uh, how about a facial scrub, mild? So you can, the pretty much the same ingredients that you use for the, um, for the body wash. You can use that as a facial scrub and you can use that as a body scrub, but you can add like oatmeal. So the oatmeal will give you um, that exfoliation that you're looking for. Um, you also have other scrubs that you can use. You can use make like sugar scrubs. You can use, do salt scrubs. But all of those are things that we can make all natural. Uh, um, no mix. preservatives, things that are really, really good for you. I, I, she can also mix honey with um, charcoal and put a little salt and scrub the face. It's good. Yes. And I'm <laughs> going to tell you something that's an excellent mask. Tell her, Charmaine. Yes. Something that you eat, but it makes a perfect mask. Facial mask. Molasses. 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 Nice glow. Black strap yes. molasses. Yes. 
But but Alan, you know, you know, instead of drinking coffee, I I put a spoon of molasses in hot water, and that's what I drink for my coffee. Yeah. I, if I feel for coffee, molasses yeah. is very good. Yeah. It tastes like coffee. <laughs> I never tried that. Try it. Uh, I'll Very try good. that. Yeah. But the black strap molasses, you want a good mask, um, Allison? Just, yes. uh, just that. Just take it. Really? So sure it's the black strap, meaning the real molasses. Put yeah. it on your face, leave it on for like an hour or so. Mm -hmm. And then. Okay. Oh. And when we're okay. going to talk more about all of those things about natural hair dyes, you can, you, you guys know me, I love colored hair. I don't like, God gave me my hair black. I don't know why, because I don't like black hair, right? And I'm working on it still, but I still like my colors. And, but they're natural things you can use. And people who are going gray, they're natural things you can use. So <laughs> look at Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm right up there, Sophia. She she likes her redhead too. <laughs> Arlene. Arlene. Yes. Bobby has a question. What yes, Bobby. I... She can't hear you. What can I use? For what? Go For ball. The For the Go gray. ball. For the gray? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we don't do it like that. Um, we're gonna do this in another class, but like right straight off the bat, only because we're talking about it already. Coffee, you brew a strong pot of coffee mm -hmm. and put that over your hair. So it's true. You got Shamika face. Shamika. Shamika, what is wrong with your face? <laughs> Because she never right. heard of these things before. I so did not hear like, that. Bobby, what? did you hear, did you hear Bobby, did you hear that? Like do that? What is that? Hello. Did you hear what I said? Something about coffee. Right. You asked me to cover your grays. Hello. Yeah. So I said, brew the coffee really, really strong. Uh huh. Cool it, of course. I don't want you putting hot coffee yeah, on your head and then sue me because I told you to. So cool it and then just put it on your hair and leave it on for as long as you want to. Okay. And then <laughs> thank you. See, I'm not the only one. <laughs> thank you. You guys still in my husband. Let me try something, you know. <laughs> okay. But that's one, and there are several others. Okay. All right. All right, cool. All right, guys. I, I know we um it's way past four o'clock, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. You guys, um, we started really late, so I apologize for that. And I and thank you. I appreciate you guys um hanging in there. But enjoy your stuff. Really, really use them. Give me the feedback. Let me know how it works. Um, Mr. Know. Sergeant was giving me suggestions. If you guys have suggestions, you can give me suggestions. So because we're gonna do this uh, this one day at three. If you have okay. different ideas, different things that you want to see, let me know. So it's not just what I think we should be doing, but what you guys are interested in as well. Okay. okay. Um, and thank you so much. This was a lot of fun. It was fun. Yeah. Hey, Arlene, Arlene, I, have, I have my, I have my, um, I have my, my, uh, cactus olive olive vera plant. I have all my ingredients. For my mm. fast. Okay. So I'll come by. So whenever you whenever you get a chance, just let me know. Today okay. is Sunday. Just let me know. Sounds good. Um, yeah, we should do one for like a get oh. Eva okay. wants to start the program, so I'm gonna, I'm working with her with that. Okay. Um yes, Shimiko. No, I was just saying we should do one with a good um what like hair conditioner or something like that too. Okay. Since we're staying on like, you know. Okay, Bye. you all have an excellent, you have the rest of the Sunday, beautiful Sunday. Thank you. Bye, Eva. Eva. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. Yeah, so we'll do that. Um, we're mm -hmm. going to do several cooking classes, um, you know, things like that, all in the name of nutrition. So yeah. we want to make sure we keep it interesting and informative that it is actually beneficial. Hello. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right, guys. Thank you all so right. much. Have a good week. Stay you safe. Too. <laughs> and we'll be in touch. Uh, Decorate those bottles. I'm going to just know. show we have next Sunday. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bye. 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 Thank you, Arlene.